Who is Dr. Destroyer? 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 I am Dr. Destroyo. From the Death by Media Man podcast show, it's Dr. Destroyo. The story of the world's first true supervillain. We're telling Dr. Destroyo in sequence every two weeks. So if you haven't listened to the first episodes, go back and start there. Then, this will all make a lot more sense. Chapter 61 I wanted to put out another manifesto so badly it made my teeth hurt, but I knew I had to keep quiet for a while. The whole shooting a guy in the face in the middle of the street thing had kind of put the city a little on edge. In fact, some people were freaking out a bit. It's been months since Mr. Scorpio was found with the first false Dr. Destroyo, wrote Tade Thompson in an editorial for some online newspaper. And people appear to be no closer to getting this masked menace off our streets. If anything, Terminal City's masked Avenger situation appears to be intensifying, with every day seeing more would-be heroes showing up to join in the hunt for the feared villain. How long before another body shows up? And where will it all end? I would argue that in fact, Dr. Destroyo is attempting to be a subversive force for goodness, said psychologist Sandra Monique in an interview with a local paper. With these displays of aggression, the doctor is putting out a call to others to come join in his Manichean battlefield of primal good versus epic evil. As of for the murdering, I can only attribute that to some sort of deeply scarring experience he may have had which he is attempting to turn into a tool that will benefit society. As the anti-hero, he may even see himself as a sacrificial figure, Christ-like in his desire to give back to a world which ultimately rejects him. One editorial had a more darkly satirical take on it all. Or maybe he was being serious. Sometimes I have trouble telling what's supposed to be real and what's a put-on. Hell, I don't think the cops should even be trying to catch him. I think he should be classified as an endangered species. Villainous superior. Yeah, he kills crackheads and crazies in costumes, but that's his diet. Maybe he'll build a roost at the top of City Hall or deep in the sewers. But for the time being, it seems like, as long as you're not wearing a costume, you're off this guy's radar. So aside from the obvious issues at Halloween, what's the big deal? No heroes? No problem. And those who do choose to go that path, well, they're making a choice. And they should get to live and die by that choice. Because that's what freedom is. Your right to wear a cape and go out and get killed by an evil supervillain. One lady wrote a specifically angry letter to the editor. I got two words for the police when they catch this guy. Public execution. There's no reason we shouldn't go old school with this and string him up by the neck, maybe from one of the big old trees on Main Street. He can even keep his mask on if he likes. That was from a little old lady, Miss Millie Tratch, age 79. She also didn't think that people should be allowed to own birds. Anybody who locks up a parakeet should be locked up themselves, she went on to complain, for at least an equal time that the bird was locked up for. I could easily see why any newspaper would have been printing her letters. They were pure gold. It's clearly a bunch of developmentally impaired adults playing dress up, summarized a popular columnist. It would be pathetic if it weren't for all the dead bodies. Yeah, that was me, all right.
Chapter 62 A couple of weeks after I'd removed the solution, while I was getting fat on pizza and potato chips, Rex Challenge re-emerged from wherever he'd been hiding. And he re-emerged with a vengeance. I'd love to say that I'd almost forgotten who he was, but that wasn't the case. In truth, I'd suspected all along that he'd been out there somewhere, waiting for his chance to be yet another fly in my ointment. I had to go underground, Rex explained in a video blog recording. I had to travel to Dr. Destroyo City to get a sense of the lay of the land. I apologize to those of you who mourned me, as I did not mean to incite grief. But to those who doubted my dedication to my mission, I say to you now, I have never been closer or more determined to take down Dr. Destroyo than I am today. The video showed up on the basic public feeds after the initial broadcast was uploaded to his blog, and there were tons of individuals and internet organizations which were more than happy to disseminate his video to the masses. It was seen more than a million times in the first day, and it stayed pretty viral after that. This man is more than a killer. He's a maniac. I've been speaking with people in his community on a street level, and a very strange picture has begun to form of who it is that is under that mask. The figure within the face, within the mask. And the mind behind it all. Rex Challenge had these speech patterns that drove me up the wall. He was trying to sound official and important, but it always came out stilted and weird. I caught myself worrying more than once that I might sound a similar way in my speeches. It was something to think about. He's a serial murderer, no different from Jack the Ripper or the Zodiac Killer. Deranged men with spooky sounding monikers they've given themselves. And what has history taught us about men like Jack the Ripper and the Zodiac Killer? That they got away with it. The police never found them, never brought them to justice. He was shooting the video on a laptop in a cheap motel somewhere in my city. He was wearing a tight leather jacket with a stylized logo on the left breast. His initials bisected with a lightning bolt. His sand-colored hair slicked back. His plainly handsome features unmasked. But I believe I can find him. I believe I can locate where he is in this city, track him, and pull him out from under the rock he's hiding under. I can do it alone if I have to, but what I think would be even better would be to assemble a team. Suddenly I was sitting up and taking notice. A team of warriors. A team of avenging heroes. A team of justice seekers. A team of the fearless, the brave, the daring, and the bold. A team of like-minded individuals dedicated to righting the wrongs this monster is spreading throughout the streets. We shall be the Theseuses of the city and hunt the Minotaur, which preys on our people in the night. I studied Rex Challenge's video in his face. He seemed pretty serious, but would he flinch? Would he back down when there was blood on the floor? Was he a better hero than the solution had been? Could he stay the course? So come find me, and together we'll do something about this. This man who thinks he's so untouchable, these unresolved crimes, will drag him out into the light of day. We will pull down the walls of his lair. We will find him in his home and put an end to his madness and his evil. Join me and we can unmask Dr. Destroyo and expose his true face to the world. Well, all right then. Game fucking on. Dr. Destroyo is written and produced by Hank Pattison for the Death by Media Man podcast channel. 
You can subscribe to the Death by Media Man podcast on iTunes and SoundCloud. If you enjoyed this, please leave us a like or a comment and tell a friend. And if you'd like to support the Death by Media Man channel with your money, there's a link to our Patreon in the description of this program. Thanks so much for listening, and we'll see you in two weeks for the next installment of Dr. Destroyo.